What's up guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, Red Run. In the last episode we got this bike and we met a furry named Bill, the Bill Fairy. And now we're in the one of the best towns in the game. I mean listen to this music, it's just so good. Ah. You know, I could listen to this song for ages. Anyway, as you can see, the gym here is blocked by this tree that looks like it could be cut down. So, let's go over this way and see what's going on. Hmm. Well, we could go back to Peter City if we wanted to, but I don't really want to. That'll take us back to Peter City, and we don't want to go this way because it looks like a bunch of trainers are going that way. Uh, Vermilion Harbor. Let's go see if that, uh, that SSN is around. Welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Great, welcome to the SSN. Sweet. You know, this music's not half bad either. Anyway, we are now on the SSN. Uh, we have a room on here somewhere, I believe. That's not it. Uh, I could have swore we had a room. That's not it either. Or is it just other versions that we have a room? I think it's just other versions that we have a room. Ah, that's just unfortunate. You winchlet pup! How dare you, Bajen! Well, we got a gentleman on board. Badass looking gentleman, though. Like, if Liam Neeson was a gentleman. We defeated you, Arthur. Hm. You rude child! You have no sense of courtesy! Of course, Liam Neeson's already a gentleman. He's Qui-Gon. Still throws me off. Ah! Let's get out of here before she notices us. I, I could've- there's a Wigglytuff. I could've swore we had a room on here somewhere. Uh, apparently not. There's another gentleman. To avoid getting yelled at, we're just gonna leave. Let's see what's down here. Food! Oh, I want food! I'll take a great ball, too. Usually the great ball was in one of the trash cans. What's in the trash cans now? A chesto berry. A cherry berry. And a pecha berry. Well, alright. There's not much in here, then. Uh, it's a good area to level up. In fact, I might... I might take advantage of that and level up a few times, because all the most of the people on here are gonna have he had something on his table. What does he have on his table? I'm stealing this. We're taking your super potion. What's your Machoke gonna do about it? Nothing. What do you gotta say? My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Alright. Foreshadowing there. Um more trainer battles in here. Ah, of course. I like feisty kids like you. That sounds creepy, especially since we're on a boat and you're a sailor. You do know we're young, right? Arg, lost it. He went all pirate there at the end. Uh, well, we're gonna take this for fighting you. Ooh, ether. That's always helpful. I never use them, but it's helpful. Can we run on the boat? We can run on the boat. That's helpful. Uh, anything in here? Yes, there is something. We can sneak past this guy. Ooh, rest. Not a bad... Not a... Ah, not a bad TM. Even a sailor's have Pokemon, too. You sound more like a pirate. Hmm. Well... I don't know what I'm gonna do with this area. I might... Let's see, is there anything in here? Nothing in here. Because I do want to level up my Pokemon. But I also don't want to just cut a whole bunch of stuff out. So I think what I might do... I I'm taking this idea from Mr. Mr. Chugga. I think I might just speed up here and play a little bit of music. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's uh, let's test this out. Let's see how this works. All right? Uh, yeah. Cue the music.
Alrighty. Sorry about that, guys. My, uh, my Pikachu decided to get really, really injured, and I didn't have any healing items, so... Back to it! Alright, well that was fun, and I learned that you don't have to go all the way- Listen to my squeaky chair again. You don't have to go all the way back to town to get healed up. You could do it right here. Wish I'd have known that before I went all the way back to town. Anyway, it's a good idea to heal up because um, I have a feeling that we're not going to be getting off this boat very easily. Let's see. Put Pikachu at the front. Alright, Pikachu learned Thunderbolt, thankfully. Now let's head up this way. Apparently the captain's been sick. Let's go see what we can do about it. Oh no, it's you. Bonjour, Red. I imagine seeing you here. I imagine seeing you here. Imagine seeing you here. Red, weren't you really... I'm really messing up my words. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna paraphrase everything he says, apparently. Red, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look hard for them. Alright, if he has 40 kinds, let's see if he has a full roster yet. No, he does not. Maybe he means he caught four kinds. Alright, you're level 19, Pidgeotto. My level 26, Pikachu. It's gonna wreck your life. This Thunderbolt. Look at that. One hit. One hit. I think he has a alley or I think he has a cadaver now though, so that's a little more dangerous. Eradicate. Yeah, I'm gonna use 
Bulbasaur for this one. I think I'll poison him. Actually, since we're level 26, why don't we just attack him outright? Look at that. Almost a one-hit KO. We'll hit him with another Razor Leaf. I would use Vine Whip because it's faster, but... I want to be sure I take him out. Can't believe he says he's caught 40 cons and he only has 4 on hand. Kadabra. Alright, let's get back to Pikachu for this one. Just because... I don't want my Bulbasaur being taken out by some new psychic move that it's learned. Even though we're a lot stronger than it is. Um, I'm going to slam it because it's got very, very, very low defense. I mean, look at that. Mm, Charmeleon. We'll, 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 keep, uh, we'll keep Pikachu out. Yeah, ours evolved too a while ago. Yours is only level 20. Bah. Come on, man. Come on. Look at that. Look how badass we are. We almost took it out in one shot. One more attack and we'll do them in. I think we're fairly good level for the next gym, too. Even though we already have an advantage. Hump! At least you're raising your Pokemon! Shut up, Gary. I mean, Blue. I heard there was a cut master on board. Is it like an emo? <laughs> I'm four. Teen. Fourteen. But he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya! At least he left this time. Yeah, let's go talk to the, uh, to the captain. Is he throwing up? Yuck! Shouldn't have looked. Alright. Arrgh! I feel hideous. <laughs> Seasick. And we rub the captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. Whew! Thank you, I'm feeling much better. You want to see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my prize cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know! You can have this. This hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon and you can see it cut anytime. And we receive cut from the captain. Using cut you can chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees around Vermilion City? That's nice foreshadowing there, Captain. Thank you. Anyway, now that we've taken everybody out on the boat and we've got cut, and the Captain's ready to uh, take off, let's head on out of here. Bon voyage! I like how it's taken off right as we're right next to it. We could fall in, man, and be destroyed by that boat. I'm pretty sure there's a lava cookie hidden off to the right behind the truck, but I'm not really worried about that. We're not going to need it. If you if you manage to faint and you appear off the boat, even after you've got the cut technique, you can go back in and surf around once you get surf. But like I said, not going to be bothering with that. Um, so yeah, now that we have cut and the ship has taken off, I'm going to cut it right here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.